Hello guys, in this video, we will see how to download and install Fedora Linux 40 on VMA workstation. The latest version of Fedora is 40. It is released today only. Okay. Now go to Fedora project.org and hit enter. See, Fedora Linux 40 is released. So click on this get Fedora, then select the workstation or server. But the installation process is same for workstation or server. If you want to download, you have to click on server. If you want to download workstation, you have to click on workstation. So we are going to see workstation. Then click on download now. See here, we have the ISO file for Intel and AMD systems. So click on this download button. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See, its size is 2.1 gigabytes. I'm canceling this one because I have already downloaded Fedora workstation 40. But if you want server, click on get Fedora, server, then click on download. See here, we have the DVD ISO for Fedora. You click on it, go to downloads. See, it's a size is bit more than the workstation. So, cancel it. But the installation process is same for workstation or server. Okay. Once Fedora Linux party downloaded, then open VMware. See. I have VMware Workstation 17 Player or Workstation Pro, but the installation process is same on both Workstation Player or Workstation Pro. Workstation Pro is not free, so if you want to use for non-commercial use, you have to download VMware Workstation Player. I will keep the link how to download and install Workstation Player on your machine. Okay, click on it. Click on Create a New Virtual Machine. This is VMware Workstation Pro, but on VMware Workstation player also we have the same options let me maximize it see i have installed these many virtual machines here we have to click on create a new virtual machine here we have to click on the same okay click on create it then we have to select the downloaded device file and the options are same okay so i'm closing this one click on create a new virtual machine next select the downloaded iso file see i have downloaded here then select it click on open click on next Provide the name Fedora Linux 40. Then browse the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. VMs new folder Fedora Linux VM. Then select it, click on OK. See that folder has been selected and all virtual machine files and folders will be stored in this directly then click on next here provide the hard disk size i'm giving 100 gigabytes then click on next and see here this is the hardware information but memory is configured 2 gigabytes so if you want to change it you have to click on customize hardware then use this pointer to up and down or you can use the number also see here the checkbox power on this virtual machine after creation so i don't want so click on finish See, this is the virtual machine settings. If you want to edit again, click on edit virtual machine settings. Then you can change the whatever the options that you want. Or right click on it, then click on settings. Or as, then you will get the same window. Okay. Or select the VM and click on VM, then settings. All three are the same. Now, we have created a virtual machine, but not yet started the installation of Fedora Linux 40 on VMware option. So, click on power on this virtual machine. Or select it and click on power on this virtual machine right click on it or select the power then start the start up the guest all three are same so click on power on this virtual machine here we have the start fedora workstation live or test and test this media and start fedora workstation live so select the first one and hit by using up and down arrows from your keyboard and hit enter If you want to see the just temporary purpose, you have to close this one. Otherwise, if you want to install permanently, you have to click on install Fedora. Click on it. Select the language and click on continue. See here, this begin installation has been grayed out. Why? Because whatever the options are in red color, those must be filled or selected. So, click on installation destination. I am okay with the default one, then click on done. See, now we are able to click on begin installation.
if you want to change the time and date you have to click on here and if, if you want to change the region you can select from the drop down then city okay I'm okay with the default ones then click on done then click on begin installation to start the installation of Fedora Linux 40 on VMA workstation click on begin installation see installation has been completed so go ahead and restart your system to start using it so click on finish installation now go to there right click on it settings uncheck it click on ok click on s now click on this power button click on again power button then click on restart click on restart click on start setup if you want to enable services we have to on these buttons then click on next if you want to enable third party repositories you have to click on here otherwise click on next now we have to create user so provide the full name for the user and this will be the username okay click on next then provide the password for this user then click on next all done so click on start using fedora linux skip the tour now click on show applications or search here for terminal click on it let me change the font size select it close it now verify the version of the Fedora Linux that we have installed. So command is more slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Fedora Linux and its version is 40. Control it to clear screen. If you want to see the IP of this machine give af config. See this is the IP of this machine. See this is the host name. If you want to find the host name give the host name. See, this is the Fedora is the host name. We can change the host name also. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Fedora Linux 40 on VMware Workstation. For more Fedora Linux or Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.